All right, we're gonna do, we got some storms to the north of us. We're gonna do a quick session here. I said to Ben, let's get something done here before it gets, we get rained out, but um, brought Cedar out. I let her air out a little bit. I'm gonna do it very similar to yesterday. I'm gonna give her this little bit of freedom and then I wanna work on getting her back to me. So she chases a little butterfly there and thinks that's fun. Come here, come on. Good girl, come on. I get down, that's the best way for me to get her to come in, is getting down. If I don't get down, she doesn't come to me nearly as well. So I gotta figure out how to form the habit of recall a little bit better with her. So for now, I'll, I'll do what I need to do to get her to me. We'll move a little bit more. I always want her to come all the way in and finish. Come here, come here, good girl. Good girl. And I also want her to come in and have it be real positive. I don't necessarily need, want her thinking every time I come in something negative is gonna happen. I want her to come in and pet her and love her up and come here. And she's digging in the bag. She loves those little dummies in the bag. So put her on a lead here. Now we've got her back. And now we're gonna start control again. Good, sit, sit, good. And today we're just gonna focus on Little distractions in this area. Scents in here. Um, we're doing the same thing with Bella. We brought Bella in here the last couple days, um, which is probably why I'm bringing her in here too. But I'm, I'm, I'm transferring behaviors that we've worked out in the driveway, moving them to areas that are a little more tempting. Cedar, heel. And so I'm, I'm focusing on this loose lead. She's come a long way with her heel work. Um, her heel work is pretty nice. I still remember when I first brought her how lungy she was. She'd lunge out in front. Um, I rarely have to correct her when she's in heel position now. She doesn't lunge out. Occasionally, if I get going a little bit with some pace and I make a turn, occasionally I catch her. She doesn't stay with me. So I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna make turns back and forth with her. I'm gonna vary the pace. She's actually getting kind of good at her position, I don't mind a dog that stays behind me a half a step like where she is. I don't want him a half a step ahead. It's a lot harder to change that habit. So as I turn, no correction. When I say correction, I mean pressure to the neck. I'm not making any, I'm not having to pressure her anymore. Good. I give her a chance to make the turn. Now if she had gone, if she had stayed back any further I probably would have corrected it. Good. Now we're making it real easy on her. We're turning to the right. When I turn to the right, she's like the race car on the outside. She can be behind, she's gonna be behind me a little bit. Come on. Sit. She's got nice attention today, which is rare for her. Um, when I say that, I mean her body language, her face, she's looking at me, heel. Now I'm gonna mix it up and I'm gonna turn into her. And that surprises her. And it makes her uncomfortable. And I, I'm persistent with my feet, moving into her until she gets into position to get out of my way. 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 Good. So it, it, it almost is like she has to, we gotta get her to give in to the idea that I am gonna dictate direction. And I'm gonna go where I want. And if she's in my way, she's gonna have to kinda step aside. So it's like if two people come down an aisle, a hallway towards each other, sit. If two people were to be coming down a hallway together, I, I saw this once on an experiment. They were talking about like, personalities and dominant personalities and there was a tight corridor and it was like a study that they did and people didn't know that they were being studied so all the while I'm talking and explaining this I gotta stay in touch with her good but this is really nice too because we can extend this a little bit but two guys walk down the hallway and the, and the experiment was who will give way to the other one like the dominant one is not going to turn so it, it, they were looking at it based on like what the people were wearing, the size of the people. And you know, when you come in, it was too narrow for two people to walk right past each other. So someone had to give to the other one. Someone had to make a decision. 
And it's, it's those decisions are made in split seconds. Who's gonna, who's gonna let the other one go by? Who's gonna get out of the way? With her, when I do that turn into her, she has a split second to make a decision. She gives, she's either gonna give to me or she's gonna get in my way. And I'm not going to quit. I see a lot of people, when they're handling their dogs, they go to do something and the dog doesn't want to, doesn't necessarily in, in line with what they want to do. The dog decides they're not going to do it. The person stops because the dog doesn't want to do it. So it takes me understanding and my comfort level being good enough to say, I'm going to keep moving. She's awkward and she's out in front of me and she's out of position. And a lot of people get like that and they, they stop because they go, well, she's, where, what do I do now? Well, what does she do? She sits. I don't stop and let her just dictate what's going to happen. I get right in her way until she figures out how to get out of my way. And so that's a, that's a mental thing for her to realize First off, I, you know, first off, it's, it's understanding where she should go to get out of the way. Come on, come on. Where does he want me? You know, that's part of it. She's confused. Where does he really want me? Well, I want you right here. This is a good spot. So because when I turn there, when I turn, stay in that spot. And as I move, she has to move. And as I ask her to do that, it's uncomfortable because she's being asked to walk funny. She's being asked to walk backwards, lead with her back end, which is unnatural. But notice my pace on that last one was a lot slower. So when I get here, if I slow down, she does better. Well, it's because, come on, that's because I'm giving her a chance to respond and react. Well, when it's not super comfortable and natural to her muscle-wise, muscle memory-wise, good. There is a very nice one. Good. And I'm going to let her know that was very nice. That one was, I turned in nice and slow. I'm going to adjust this just a little bit. That was a little bit loose. Heel. I turned into her very nice and slowly, and she responds really well. Now it's after eight times. Come on. Come on. And now the, the sound of those cars threw her off. Come on. The sound of those cars leaving threw her off. It's just a little distracting to her. Come on. Come on. Good. Good. Looking at her, look at her, look at me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. Bad decision. And she went crap. She knew it was a bad decision and I wasn't going to freeze. Come on, come on, sit. It was a bad decision and she knew it and I wasn't paralyzed by it. When I say that, I mean, sometimes I see people lock up because the dog gets out. The dog got out over here and so now what? And that comes from not knowing, not doing this very often. If you don't know what to do and know how to handle it, know how to use the lead to bump her back, Use your body to move her. Heel. Then it's then it's hard for us. So we are uncomfortable physically. I think she's got to go maybe to the bathroom here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let her air out a little. Come on. Sit. I can just kind of sense this. Hurry up. Hurry up. Her little bit of hesitation and stickiness and wanting to put that nose down. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. She's been in the kennel most of the afternoon. She probably, and she ate this morning, and so she's probably got to do her business a little bit too. And if she dawdles and fools around, well, then, I, then she fooled me. Then she tricked me. And if she tricked me into thinking that she needs a break, nah, 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 you don't. Dirty trick. Sit down. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come here. She doesn't have to go to the bathroom. She just doesn't want to do this. Come here. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Come here. Get over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So this is a perfect get over here. Perfect example of that's that brattiness. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go there. Here. She wants to come running. I'm going to go this way. Good. Come on. Come on. Sit right here. 
Come here. She's playful. So, lesson learned. She doesn't have to go to the bathroom. Now you're stuck with me. Now we're back to this. Heel. Heel. Good. There's a nice turn on her part. Good. Becoming more pro more proficient in her turns. More more making sense with her feet a little bit better. Come on. Come on. Get another UPS truck's down at the shop and she hears that. That's a distraction. All these subtle distractions really affect her. Come on. Come on. She's bored with this lesson. Come on. Come on. Sit. She's bored with this lesson. You can just tell. So, anyway, it's been a pretty fast paced lesson. I don't know, we've turned 30 times probably. And I'm trying to kind of race in to beat this storm cloud that's coming in. Good. So add a little bit to it. Keep it fresh. Good. Good. Good girl. Good girl. We just started doing this yesterday. I hadn't thrown a denial, I call this a denial. I haven't thrown a denial for her yet. I'm not too worried about it with her. I don't know how much we're gonna truly get into gun dog stuff anyway. But steadiness is a real important trait for a gun dog. And I don't, I don't try to steady him up too much too early. She's only five months old. I wouldn't try to steady up a dog that's five months old too much too early, especially if she's not retrieving very well. What, what, what good does a steady dog do if it doesn't retrieve in the first place? We're, I'm not so worried about it from a sequencing standpoint from a hunting dog with her. We're trying to get her to be a, a nice family dog. Steadiness is just as important for her as it is my gun dog. Good. Resisting temptations. Good, heel. I think we're gonna play around with her a little bit with some retrieving stuff, but the likelihood of us hunting with her is slim. Not because she can't do it, but because she, my parents aren't gonna do that. Good, there's a really nice responsive turn. Probably the best one to the right yet. The last few she's gotten out about three or four steps before. Good, very good. Good, good girl, sit, sit, good dog, good dog. Now I turn my back to her even. You see me walk away from her with my back turned. A little bit more distance. Ah, ah, ah. A lot more distance, probably twice the distance that we've been doing. Good girl. I'm gonna wrap this session up with her. Because it was a real, it was kind of, kind of boring to start out with. We lost her a little in the middle. We got her back. We changed it up a little bit. She dialed in nicely. I added some distance to this remote sit and definitely some time to it. This one's a little bit longer too. Good girl. And I like how she's, I like how she's settling in right now. Kind of getting windy a little bit. I think we're gonna get some rain out of these dark clouds. It's a perfect time for us to end. Good girl. Now we bring her back under control. We don't just take her off the lead and let her take off running. I don't mind the idea of taking her off the lead and not losing control. Because I don't like the idea of these dogs thinking that just because they come off lead, they can go run away. We're back on lead, heel her back in, put her in the kennel. Let this session sink in, because this was a nice one. Good, heel. She can go on place or she could go in the kennel. I'm gonna put her in the kennel and then I'll probably let her out, let her do her business. 15, 20 minutes later, sit. 
and then I'll bring her in, and then the rest of the afternoon, especially if it's raining, she can lay on her bed. She can be on place. Good, but that's perfect timing for a real, really nice session, very positive session with her.